You wouldn't expect a robot to be able to take the job that you were trained to do, but it can happen in any field, in any profession. Well, hi, I'm Dan Bliss. I'm an associate professor in the School of Electrical, Computer, and Energy Engineering at Arizona State University. The truth is, is that the, the world is, is very dynamic right now. And while my, my, my stated goal and job is to push technology so that we, we advance as quickly as possible, um, the downside is in advancing technology uh, you end up being disruptive to the way things work, but intentionally so. And the downside is that um, you know, some people are diversely affected by changes in the way the world works. And this disruption can be quite hard on people. And as a person whose stated goal is to you know, increase the rate of disruption, to make things you know, better, to, to be able to allow humankind to do more, I still have to recognize that sometimes, uh, while I'm trying to make the world a better place, uh, it doesn't necessarily make it a better place for everyone, and there are people who get hurt along the way. You probably aren't complaining because it wasn't really a great life. Israel Lucero, field supervisor at Taylor Farms in Yuma, Arizona, realizes the need for technology in order to attract workers. Mis hijos, yo les he dicho, vamos a trabajar. No, no quiero venir a trabajar. Porque es campo, no van a trabajar. Entonces, hay mucha gente que si le pones automatización, dices tú, ah, posiblemente sí puedo trabajar. Working in the fields is hard work. With fewer workers, Farm owners must find ways to compensate rather than leaving unharvested produce to rot. Taylor Farms comenzó a mirar esa presión y empezamos a mirar la potencial de la automatización. Ya no ya no decimos quieres cortar lechuga, quieres cortar romana, no, quieres sortear romana, que no que es mucha diferencia cortando, levantándose todo el día o las seis o ocho horas que trabajemos a estar parado, estar abajo de una sombra. In any profession, the introduction of new technology can cause job anxiety. New technology often requires workers to readjust their everyday tasks and forces them to adapt. This change can be worrisome. La gente al principio la tomó como más normal. Es un es una es un prototipo, pero no va a funcionar. Del cual yo estoy convencido que sí trabaja. Y ese es el futuro. Estamos en primeramente el proceso de que tiramos producto, se quebran las máquinas. Entonces necesitamos estar seguros de que trabajen, como te lo vuelvo a repetir, nosotros somos como el McDonald's, no podemos parar. At Altman Plants in Lake Matthews, California, robots are being utilized in the spacing of plants. Pancho Martinez works closely with them. Los robots. Este es Robin. Tienen su nombre. Si mira, tiene sus flechas. La cinta, la boundary, es uh, la que hace mirar que el, que el robot ponga la planta a su sitio. De primero hubo mucha negatividad porque pensaban que iban a quitar el trabajo, pero en realidad no, no era así porque la compañía está creciendo y se ocupa más mano de obra. Pero el trabajo de los robots es, lo que, es, es un ahorro que la gente puede hacer trabajar en otras áreas. For the foreseeable future, what we're going to see, I think, is that technology will, will cause us to grow accustomed to having to change what we do regularly. Certain aspects of manufacturing or production are being replaced. Um, and then there are other areas where entire fields will show up and go away. The thing that you don't realize is robots already have taken the job many, many times over. I mean, in different, in various ways, or machines, or machine intelligence. There are lots of jobs that people, most people would do, which are essentially gone. I'm the person who's sitting at the front. I like the disruption. I want to keep on doing more and more new things. On the other hand, if, if you're not prepared for that, and that's not your worldview, that thing that you were good at has gone away. <laughs>